For the first time, California is releasing a possible timeline for the virus, suggesting when it may peak, when our hospitals may be overrun, and just how many could die. Here's KCAL 9's Sarah Donchi. As of Wednesday, more than 1,800 people are hospitalized with COVID-19 in the state of California. But the governor is planning well beyond that for the potential for thousands more patients. For the first time, California has released a timetable for the spread of the coronavirus. In mid-May, we could reach the peak of infection and begin to overwhelm our hospital system. The state is desperately trying to add ICU beds now. We're looking at about 27,000 ICU beds uh, that we'll need to procure in this state. The good news is we have time. California is looking to buy more time to prepare by delaying the spread of the virus and pleading with everyone to keep staying home. But no greater impact on changing that curve, buying us more time to prepare for this surge and for that peak uh, than physical distancing. We have to take it very seriously and we have to do everything we can pulling together by staying apart. This model from the University of Washington shows deaths in our state could peak at the end of April or beginning of May, around 122 per day, with 5,000 dead by the end of the summer. But it is just a projection. Models help us understand what our future can be. It's not our destiny. Experts say the power is in our hands. Stay home, isolate, and quarantine if told. And we can limit deaths and avoid the worst case scenario. We are going to have to make very hard decisions about who gets a ventilator and who does not, who gets care and who doesn't. This is what's happened in Italy, and that could very well happen here if we do not take it seriously. And the model could go even lower if we delay the peak even more. This model can be improved if we continue to bring down the curve, bend it further down, we may be able to buy ourselves more time and ensure that we have the services both in ventilators, ICU beds and other, um, other equipment and supplies to care for all those people who need it. So how is California doing compared to the rest of the country? Current models show the potential for only a third of the deaths here than in the state of New York. Early signs that social distancing and the stay at home order here may be working. Reporting from Los Angeles, Sarah Donchi, KCAL 9 News.